Have you ever wanted something a lot over a very long period of time and then you finally got it? That's where I'm at today. Join me as I unbox and describe my new Harvest Right freeze dryer. Hi, I'm Gardner Scott, and I've wanted a freeze dryer for nearly two decades. Almost 20 years ago, I became a certified master gardener through the extension service. And I recognized, once the gardening bug bit me, that food preservation was going to be a big part of my annual harvests. So the next year, I became a certified master food preserver, and I began teaching both gardening classes and food preservation classes. Now, 20 years ago, there was no option to do home freeze drying. As part of some of my classes, I would describe freeze drying, but for most of us, it was just the way they made food for astronauts. But about 10 years ago, it was no longer just in the realm of NASA scientists and those big companies making lightweight food for backpackers. Harvest Right led the way in developing a freeze dryer for those of us who wanted to preserve food at home. Now, a freeze dryer represents a substantial investment. They're not cheap but I see it as a natural progression for those of us who are serious about preserving our garden harvest. When I first started preserving using water bath canning, well, I got pots, more than one, of different sizes. I have bought hundreds of jars over the years. This is some of the jelly that I've made just this week. And when I became serious about making jelly, well, I invested in a steam juicer. This is not cheap either. And when it comes to dehydrating, well, I made sure I got a big and, yes, relatively expensive dehydrator. It's taken me 20 years to reach the point that I'm ready and looking forward to freeze drying. It was just a few days after I placed my order that I got a call from FedEx to arrange delivery at my house. This is not a box that they just drop off at the door. This is special freight. So we set a time, we set a date, and he was right on time. In fact, so right on time that I wasn't ready with my camera yet, but I did film the big moment as he was beginning to unload the Harvest Right freeze dryer. I was excited, and Mala was excited as well, because we were finally getting what we've been waiting so long for. Now, I could have left all of this on the pallet in the box, but it's recommended by Harvest Right that you inspect the entire package before you accept delivery. So that's what I did. I opened the boxes, I took a good look to make sure there was no damage, and then I moved it into the house. It required a hand truck. This is a pretty heavy unit. It's about 120 pounds total, so be ready for that. You can do it yourself. I highly recommend doing it with a couple people. I have a pretty good idea of what's in the box and what's inside the freeze dryer, but let's go ahead and take a closer look. Everything you need is going to be in this shipment. There is nothing additional that you need to purchase or already have on hand. So let's take a look at what's in the box. This is a troubleshooting guide. So you have an idea if things aren't going right. Here's the owner's manual. Here's a guide to freeze drying to include recipes. That's going to be great. Inside we have a bottle of the pump oil. We have 
the filtration system because you can actually reuse the oil by filtering out the impurities. Oh, this is awesome. This is the sealer. So the way that this works for long-term storage is we're going to have these bags, these Mylar bags, and each of the bags will put an oxygen absorber, and then we will seal the bag using this impulse sealer. And I'll break it down and show you this in just a moment. We have the trays that we're going to be using, four trays. Now, I got extra trays. And as you'll see in future videos, you can cycle through and keep processing by having extra trays. That's always a good idea. And this is the heart of the system. This is the vacuum pump that allows the freeze drying to be as effective as it is. And then of course you've got all the tubes and plugs you need to get your freeze dryer set up. Let's go ahead and take the plastic off the main unit. And let's look inside. This is the inspection card. So we know that the vacuum pressure test, the refrigeration test, the heaters test, the electronics test, and the general appearance has all been inspected. This is where the trays will slide in. And I'll just rotate this around. This can be removed for cleaning if we need to. Don't see any other loose pieces. I can just close the door. Let's get to the individual components. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pump first. Now this is really the innovation that Harvest Right was able to develop making a pump and a unit that would allow food preservers to do this at home. And they've modified the pump over the years. This is the Premier pump. And this does all the work creating the vacuum that is needed when you have a freeze dryer. Now the box also comes with another bottle of oil. So between the bottle that was supplied and the bottle that the pump comes with, this can give me dozens of cycles of the freeze drying without having to worry about getting new oil. Simple operation. This screws off, you pour the oil in, you just hook it up with the tubes and we'll be ready to go in no time. And I'll show you that whole process in another video. And then the next thing that I really want to look at is the impulse sealer. This by itself is one of those things that many of us buy when we want to seal the bags that we're going to freeze food in. And so this is an electric sealer. This heats up. We put the Mylar bags here and then the electric strip will seal those bags. Now, this sealer and the Mylar bags are not a required part of the freeze drying process. In fact, 
I'm planning on using a lot of those jars that I've bought over the years to store most of what I freeze dry. But particularly if you're a homesteader or a prepper and you've been using a freeze dryer for a while now, you recognize that this is the best preservation method for long-term storage. We're talking 20 to 25 years of storage. When you do that, you need to make sure that what you take out of the freeze dryer will last. So you put it into the Mylar bag along with the oxygen absorber, and then you seal the bag for long-term storage. I've been holding back showing a lot of the excitement I feel to make this video. That's just the way I am, but I really am excited. This is a big day. If you want to learn more about the Harvest Right freeze dryer, I have a link in the description below that you can click on. I'm planning on preserving just about everything that I harvest in my garden. This year, I've already given away close to 40 pounds of zucchini and squash because I just ran out of room to save it and put it in my freezer and ran out of dishes to use it in. But with the freeze dryer, all of that squash could have been run through this and saved, preserved for many, many future menus in the years ahead. I'm really looking forward to experimenting with the different types of tomatoes I'm growing and preserving those tomatoes in a number of different ways because this is more than just freeze drying the raw harvest. You can freeze dry just about anything that you would cook and then eat in your kitchen. Anticipate seeing a lot more of that. For now, it's time to set this up and test it and that'll be the next video in this series. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening and food preserving.